Hi everyone, I'm Fiona. Today we continue working on the manual conversion to my Mark IV Supra. Today we're actually working on the tunnel. The automatic shifter sits further back and the hole is lower than the stock six speed manual shifter. So what I've done to make it easy to see and understand, I've actually cut out a stock tunnel from a manual Mark IV Supra. And you can see just down here under where the radio goes there is a little little hat built onto the tunnel there and then on that hat is this bracket looks a bit rusty so that's in the automatic tunnel now if you compare that to the manual tunnel which I have sitting here you can see that same rusty bracket which would normally be connected to that console there's no there's no hat there's actually a bulge there and uh, if you have a look at the side on view you can see the tunnel sits way higher than the automatic version now you can also see down the side of the tunnel we've got these two anchor points for the handbrake and of course in my Mark IV Supra the handbrake still connected so if we look sort of lining it up so the hole's not only bigger but it also is further forward and raised this section here is raised above the flat section here and you can see the raised section there which is over the standard height that the automatic transmission uses and if we pull this off you can see that the shifter assembly is is quite raised okay so you might say well if you're going to do it properly just buy a manual tunnel okay I did that bought one um, and that's a really good stencil for working out exactly what needs to go where but to actually install this would be a total bugger because the design of this is actually to cut around the raised section in the tunnel and then insert this from underneath spot weld it in and then re-insulate from underneath and that's a lot of work so I won't be doing that I'm going to take a shortcut everyone does but I'm going to do it my own way Alright, so we've pulled out a lot of this center console here, the stereo, the climate control, the clock, and uh, as always, people splicing in wires, wires not going anywhere, wires with bad connections, wires just left hanging. That one just sitting loose. Out you go. All right, so that's our uh, audio harness. I've just chopped it off. I've taped it up. 
it's not going to earth out on anything. I can now just tuck it away safely and I can worry about audio at another time. Alright, so what we're going to do, and we can see in front of our little hat with the rusty bracket, just in front of that, you can see there's a little module bolted onto the chassis there. Now those two shiny bolts there, that's what we're going to mount the front of our tunnel to. We're going to cut out this midsection here for clearance and then we're going to bolt it to where the handbrake anchors down the back and then cut all in between. So the only thing now I need to do now is to remove that rusty bracket, get out a sharpie and uh, cut our tunnel and cut what's of the tunnel from our cut out of the original manual car to fit. Okay, so we're in the car, and I'm just, uh, just remembered I left that uh, one that I've bought here. So you can see how I've essentially cut that down to a similar size, but I've I've reduced it slightly further because instead of having this inserted up under, I'm going to be placing it on top. Okay, so at the moment, the only thing stopping us test fitting our tunnel is that little hat and then just those couple of screws that we're going to bolt onto up here so what I'm going to do is cut that out Place that in here, and then uh, it's going to be sitting a bit high, so I just sort of push that under there and uh, lift that up on top in there and slide it forward. And we're just going to match up that handbrake mounting point down here and there we go, that's what it's going to end up somewhat like. Obviously I've got to tidy up these rough edges. Alright, so it's tomorrow. Um, after I finished filming last night, I just kept working with my piece, uh, cutting it down, adjusting it, uh, working with the anchor mounts, the positioning, and uh, generally making it fit how I wanted it to. Uh, mostly the anchor points at the front, the dash clip, and then the handbrake mounting holes, which I'm using to position the tunnel uh, piece in the right spot. I've decided mostly that I'm going to uh, slice off these side parts and make and drill holes on the side, but other than that, piece is really definitely sitting fairly well now and uh, it's just a matter of finishing that off so we'll get back to it all right so final placement for the manual tunnel 
shell that I have uh, fitted in. In the end, I've, I've cut off the the mounts that were going were helping me line it up with the uh, hand braking position, um, and I've just left two little tabs, and I've put a couple of 10 mil nuts and bolts through those. But um, that's now solid. So we've got uh, two, four, and then right up here, six nuts and bolts holding that in. So that is solid. And, and then looking through the new hole, you can see how the automatic hole wasn't big enough and uh, not quite in the right spot if we dip right over and that that cut I made initially just so I could pull out that piece so I could start fitting. Now what I'm going to do next is uh, just cut along the inside around both sides there just to make sure that that's a nice clear space for everything. I don't need those fastening spots anymore in there. And then once that's done, I'll, uh, I'll clean up the whole area. We'll uh, treat it with uh, anti-rust or rust converter. And then we'll scuff it up and give it a, a coat of primer and then paint. And then once that's all sorted and that's fit, then we'll actually run some sealer around the edge, fill up any holes and gaps, make it a nice watertight, airtight fitting. So next we need to pop underneath and finish cutting. Alright, so the tunnel's now been cut from underneath. You can see very clearly there's lots of room there. Nothing in the way. And that our piece is mounted solidly. And, uh, and that's my tunnel conversion. I know it's not awesome. I know it's not epic. But that's good enough for me. And when I finish painting and sealing this up, it will be airtight, watertight, and it's uh, correctly placed and will do the job. Alright guys, so that's the manual tunnel conversion done. Um, it's, it's a bit of mucking around. Uh, obviously this is all about shift the placement and sealing it up so that the uh, water and air can't get through. I know a lot of people just cut the tunnel and, and then it's not sealed and yet it does the job but I wanted to do something a bit better than that. I mean this is my dream car. I know it's not as great as it could be if I was a professional fabricator. I probably could have done a bit better but I'm not. I'm just a home mechanic. I'm pretty happy with that. From here I'm just going to do some rust prevention, I'm going to probably scuff it up, prime paint it and then run some sealant around the edge so that it's completely in. I won't be doing that on camera because it's a bit fiddly, it takes a bit of time, but um, I will show you the result once that's finished. Otherwise that's it for me this week, hope you're all having a great day and we'll see you again next time. Bye! Ding. <laughs>